What's going on, Jets fans? Welcome back to another video here on Peg City Hockey. The last time I was talking about the Winnipeg Jets, well, it wasn't a very fun time in Winnipeg. The Jets had lost six games in a row and have looked like complete frauds from where they were this entire season, and things just had not been looking good. But recently, the Jets have been able to put together a little three-game win streak against the Kings, the Flames, and now today beating the Minnesota Wild, in which were three very good performance games where the coaching staff finally made the necessary adjustments that they needed to make make in order to win a game and also to get the most out of their team. And with that, the Jets find themselves heading back to the postseason. They have clinched a spot in that victory against the Calgary Flames a couple of days ago and now are battling for home ice advantage and this win against the Wild today definitely helps. You know, it's great that the Jets clinched. We knew it was going to happen. Even with this slide, we knew the Jets were going to the playoffs. So it wasn't like it was a big surprise like it was last year, but still nonetheless, it's always happy when your team finally confirms it and clinches that spot. And I'm very happy the Jets are heading back to the playoffs. And I'm very happy that they're finally starting to play, you know, meaningful hockey again. Because you look right now with the way the standings are. And if the playoffs started tomorrow, well, the Winnipeg Jets would be playing the Colorado Avalanche. And if the Jets are going to have any chance to beat the Colorado Avalanche, they're going to have to play their best hockey. And we're finally starting to see them get back to what makes the Winnipeg Jets a successful hockey team. That game in Calgary was an explosive performance for that line with Kyle Connor, Sean Monaghan, and Cole Perfetti. He was playing great on that line. Um, and, you know, Cole Perfetti just exploded. And again, the coach Rich, Rick Bonus has finally gotten things going with changing the lines. You know, getting Velarde back up there with Ehlers and Shifley, moving Kyle Connor down, getting Perfetti back into the top six and getting him going again. Things are finally starting to settle down. You know, outside of the Nemestikov injury, the lines have, lineups have been the exact same. You know, Nemestikov, uh, excuse me, Nemestikov, Niederreiter comes out of the lineup with an injury, you know, and then you get to Foley back. And outside of that, the lineup's been the same. So I think the Rick Bonus is finally starting to figure things out. I wish you could say the same for Brad Lauer. But nonetheless, it's great to see that Bonus, you know, is getting his head out of his ass, pardon the language, and, you know, doing what's best for this team and putting the best players with the most chemistry together to get the most out of them and get win hockey games down the stretch. You know, Gabriel Velarde is such a clutch player, and when he is on that top line, you know, I feel like Mark Scheifele plays his best hockey, but not only Mark Scheifele, Nikolai Ehlers as well, who played his 600th career NHL game today. Congratulations to Nikolai Ehlers. But nonetheless, Gabriel Velarde was a beast in that Flames game and has been since he's come back and really helped balance things out for the Winnipeg Jets heading towards the end of this season down the final stretch. You know, like I had already said a couple of weeks ago, if the Jets really wanted to have any chance going to the playoffs, they needed to win these games coming up. You look at who they're playing before the end of the season. The Predators, the Stars, the Avalanche, the Kraken, and the Vancouver Canucks. Five very difficult matchups. So the Jets want to be able to try to get home ice advantage still. They're going to have to win those games, especially against the Predators, the Stars, and the Avalanche. That Canucks game at the end of the year is going to be a fun one too, especially with the bloodbath that has been these last couple of games this season. So so for the Jets to come out and win these three games after dropping those six in a row, I think they're playing some of their more improved hockey as of late. They're getting the results that they need to. Tonight's Minnesota matchup really proved that. We had a lot of depth scoring. The fourth line was really good. The top line was good. Kyle Connor played well. You know, Logan Stanley came into the lineup and played great and had good chemistry down there. And again, that Calgary game really got things going again for the Jets. They finally found themselves and really found their footing and got, you know, back to the game and their roots that have made them so successful this year. You know, Gabriel Velarde gets his first career hat trick which is a huge milestone for him I follow has been playing great down there in the third line Sean Monaghan fitting extremely well with Cole Perfetti and, and Kyle Connor and again, you know, it, I always was saying, even in that video, my last video where, you know, where we are now to where we were in that video, it's, you know, a bit, a lot different. But at the end of the day, the big thing that has gotten the Jets to where they are right now on a three-game heater playing improved hockey is the coaching staff making the necessary adjustments to get the most out of this team. Like, I firmly believe that this team was still good and is still good and has been good all year long, but the coaching staff just has failed to make the necessary adjustments when this team slides, when their system gets fixed figured out and you know trying to keep things fresh and focused going into the playoffs and the full 82s games that are the NHL regular season you know and I just feel like Bonus and his staff haven't done that consistently this year and you know you look at what you are getting now from Bonus with the adjusted lines getting the most out of his players and really balance things out I'm happy with what we're getting right now from the Jets these three games like I said were must wins in my opinion especially going to this final five stretch the season um, clinching was early again as well you could have clinched a, like a week before but at the end of the day 
the, the Jets, you know, they had that slide. They played shit hockey, and now they're finding themselves in a spot where they've clinched. The players are happy. They're motivated. They know the playoffs are weeks away, and they're getting excited. And, you know, I am too excited. I bet a lot of you are too, even though you're probably nervous. Like I said, after that slide, you know, we all had questions regarding about this team's longevity and how successful they potentially could be going into the playoffs. But lately, they've just found their footing. That game against the Kings, you like I said, these last three games have been night and day to where they were on that three-game losing streak. The effort, the second effort... The consistency, the five-on-five -five play, it's all gotten better. And I, I, like I said, a huge credit to the coaching staff for finally making the adjustments. You know, it wasn't that hard to see. You know, I feel like, you know, you're, I'm bashing my head against the wall a little bit because it's like, I told you so. Everyone told you so. It, all it took to get the Jets going again was just really adjusting that top six and of really figuring out the depth and, you know, balancing it out. You know, you move a couple guys around and look what you're able to get. You know, you look at Cole Perfetti was being scratched and was terrible for like 20 games there, 30 games. Then you finally adjust the top six, put him with a bunch of new guys on the team, and he's finding great chemistry again, which could be huge going into the playoffs to get a guy like Cole Perfetti hot at the most opt 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 opportunistic time. So, you know, I'm really happy with this. They're playing good team hockey again. They're getting back to the roots of what is Winnipeg Jets hockey and winning the games that matter down the stretch rate. Right now and like I said you know they find themselves in a guaranteed playoff spot now after clinching against the flame with that flames victory you look at the standings right now and the Jets are still battling it out for potentially a home ice advantage right now they are two points back of the Colorado Avalanche with the equal amount of game played um, so you know they could still find a way to get second in that central conference they're not going to get first at this point I don't think they get that five games on Dallas I just don't see them dropping it but at the end of the day the Jets find themselves in a spot where they're going to the postseason again they're playing good hockey and I'm excited and glad they're on a three-game heater. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, subscribe if you're new. Peace, love, and positivity. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out all the affiliate links down in the description below. Go Jets, go! Have a great rest of your night.